Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agoncha. No fewer than 29 people have been reportedly killed in two separate attacks by Boko Haram insurgents in Bernou State, Northeast Nigeria. Though security forces are yet to confirm the incident, witnesses say the gunmen killed 20 farmers in the first attack, which happened at a settlement in Ngamgam, while nine others were killed around Damasak town. President Muhammad Buhari has sworn in Elias Mbam as chairman of the Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Commission, RMAFC. Mbam was sworn in on Thursday when President Muhammad Buhari presided over swearing in events held at the council chambers in Abuja. 29 others were also sworn in as members of the commission. The Presidential Election Petition Tribunal has thrown out an application filed by President Muhammad Buhari and INEC seeking the dismissal of a petition filed by the People's Democratic Movement and its presidential candidate Hamin Chihabu challenging the result of the presidential election. INEC and Buhari had through their respective lawyers filed separate motions seeking the dismissal of the petition on grounds that the petitioners failed to file the petition within seven days but the tribunal dismissed the case saying the petition followed due process. A federal high court in Abuja has ruled that a candidate cannot be disqualified from an election for failure to take part in the National Youth Service Corps scheme NYSC. The court made this pronouncement when it struck out a suit brought against the governor of Ogun State, Dagmar Biodun, by a former senator, Yabo Ani Sulowo. The pre-election suit challenged the eligibility of Abiodun over his failure to take part in the National Youth Service Corps scheme. And oil prices fell to around $66 a barrel on Thursday, weighed down by concerns over whether the G20 summit will produce a breakthrough on trade and perceptions that supply is ample despite prospects for continued OPEC curbs. Brent crude features was down 11 cents at $66.38 a barrel, while U.S. crude fell 26 cents to $59.12 a barrel. And more than 50 people have been arrested after an alleged coup attempt in an Ethiopian region. An opposition party says national movement of the Amhara said dozens of its supporters were arrested on Thursday. The arrest follows the killing of the army chief who was reportedly killed by his bodyguard in the coup attempt. Well, host Egypt has qualified for the round of 16 in the ongoing AFCON tournament after defeating DR Congo 2-0 today. The Super Eagles beat Guinea 1-0 in the opening match on Wednesday to become the first nation into the knockout phase. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.